What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer Day with TK. It's Friday evening, so that means we survived the week. Time to reward ourselves with a beer. Um, if you checked the channel earlier on today, I did a new episode of Killer Brews. If you're unfamiliar with that one, um, that's basically a new kind of sub-series that I'm doing where I combine my passion for serial killers and beer. Um, you know, I'm a criminal justice professor. I've done some research projects dealing with serial killers, specifically with the murderabilia industry, which is people that collect serial killer memorabilia. So I thought I'd put together a little series where we kind of look at serial killers from an academic approach. Um, there's a number of videos out there where people kind of just kind of go through the Wikipedia readings of what happened, which is cool. You know, I'm not hating on anybody else. Uh, I'm just trying to take a little bit of a different approach. So if you're interested in that stuff, check out those videos. Uh, now, back to the main video. Today, I'm going to do a beer called Saddle Blankets. This is from a brewery called Nowhere in Particular. Um, and when I say brewery, they're a brewery, but they are what they refer to as a hobo brewery. Many of you may have heard it called a gypsy brewery or nomad brewery. Um, basically, they don't have a brewing facility, but they use other people's equipment to brew their beer. Actually sounds like a smart idea when you think about it. It's kind of like leasing a fancy car, right? Um, you're not stuck paying for the equipment and the facility and all that stuff. You pay for it for what you need. Then you're on your way selling your beer and making some money. Um, I had tried one of these beers previously called My Diet Starts Tomorrow and thought it was pretty solid. Um, I went to the local beer shop today and while I was wandering through, I left my glasses in the car, of course, like an idiot. Um, I was eyeing up beers and I could kind of squint and read this a little bit. Um, and it said, this is a morning fun stout, stout brewed with cinnamon and maple. And I thought, hmm, that sounds not too bad. I then cruised into the back, picked up a six pack of the Irish Red from Finley Brewing, one of our local breweries. Um, and on the way out, grabbed this. As I got to the line, the guy right in front of me had the same thing. It was a four pack. I think it was about $13.99, something like that. And the guy at the counter said, have you had this before? I said, no. He said, all their beers are amazing. I actually had a mind fart. I forgot that I actually had had the My Diet Starts Tomorrow. Went to the internet, kind of read their backstory last time. Um, and then when I saw the logo, I said, oh, I remember these guys now. Um, kid basically said to me, anything of theirs you see on the shelves, buy immediately. Because these are kind of one and done beers. Um, if you see them, grab them. You won't see them again. And he said everything he had was good. And he works in a beer shop, so I trust him. Also, the other gentleman in front of me said the same exact thing. So this is only my second beer from them that I can remember. Um, the first one was really good, so I kind of have high expectations for this. I also kind of like to have a little bit of fun here. It's a morning fun stout, so not a breakfast stout like all you other guys out there have. Um, so stout brewed with cinnamon and maple. Um, this is an imperial stout. comes in at 10.1% ABV. As, par, as far as ratings go, I got nothing. If you go to Untapped, there's only six ratings of this altogether. Beer Advocate, nothing. It's off the radar. Um, so I'm guessing this is just popped up on the shelves. Like I said, I go to that shop pretty regularly. I hadn't seen it before. Um, so I was kind of excited to find something that's, you know, not really been done on YouTube before. So let's check it out. If you look at the artwork, it's kind of a little interesting. The zero with the sign through it kind of reminds me of a movie years ago called Suspect Zero. Very under the radar film. I think it has Ben Kingsley in it. Um, it's kind of a, a cool serial killer type movie. Um, didn't get a lot of attention, but it was a really good film. Anyway, today I'm going with the Sam Smith's glass. I picked this up in one of those Christmas gift packs. Let's see what we got. I like the color of this. I'm trying to not have a terrible pour. I'm trying to pour it aggressively so I get a nice head. Yeah, I think it did all right. Color. Yeah, this is black. I know when you do the Guinness thing, they hold it up and say, ah, it's ruby red. And I say, ah, what crack pipe are you smoking? It all looks black to me. Um, so this looks black. We have a nice, at least two finger, frothy, tan head smell. Smell, I'm not picking up tons. Maybe it's just because it's such a frothy head. Let me get rid of a little bit of this. Now, we're supposed to be getting cinnamon and maple. I was expecting either a strong maple smell or something like that. Don't do it when you breathe it in. Um, 
honestly, you kind of pick up like a, you know, a stout smell, a bit of roasty grain. Maybe a slight bit of maple, but it's not overpowering. Um, a lot of times when you have maple in beers, to me, it's kind of, a, it's either great or terrible. Um, a lot of times they throw so much maple in it that it's, it's like drinking maple syrup and it's, it's useless. Um, other times they balance it properly and it, and it tastes quite good. This isn't overpowering on the nose, so that's a positive thing for me. Not bad at all. Um, first thing is the body. This is a nice, decent stout with a body the way it's supposed to be. Kind of on that thicker end, which is what I like. Um, to me, there's nothing worse than when you get something that should be a nice big stout and it tastes kind of watery. Um, this has got a nice body to it. It's nice and kind of silky. It has a really nice texture to it. And tastes like a stout should, a little bit heavy. Um, you do pick up a bit of the roasted malt, obviously, like you'd expect in a stout. And then the other flavors are really subtle and kind of complimented. You pick up the cinnamon, you pick up the maple, but neither of them really dominate. Again, really surprised. Cinnamon's another flavor. When done well, is spectacular. I would say it's not done well eight out of ten times. Um, I think in a lot of beers, they try to throw in a lot of ingredients, and sometimes they're just afterthoughts. So you brew a stout, and you throw a bunch of crap in it and hope people like it because you put 15 things on the label. This is not that. This is artfully done beer. This is a good stout, an imperial stout, 10.1%. This does not taste boozy at all. Yeah, this isn't boozy. This is a well-done stout that's complemented by cinnamon and maple. Neither one dominates. They're both just kind of there, enhancing the flavor. Um, this is, is really good. Been pretty lucky. I had a really good beer yesterday. Had a really good beer today. Um, earlier today, I had that the Guinness Coffee Nitro. I think it was decent. It was solid, but it was nothing spectacular. This is pretty spectacular. This is well-balanced, well-made, and I look forward to trying another beer from nowhere in particular. So, nowhere in particular, big thumbs up. Um, I hope to hunt down some more of your beers, because if this is an example of what you guys do regularly and that my diet starts tomorrow, these are... Uh, really under the radar, really good brewing company. Um, so I'm thrilled to be able to find this. If you like the videos, please give me a big thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. As always, have a great weekend. Stay safe. And until next time, cheers. Hey, jump in on the comments if you got anything about this brewery or had any other stats that are similar to this. Take care.